do a little starting thing. Today, there's a prelim that's starting in one minute, and we're going to play regular old boring Yogg. Someone told me the Yogg sucks, so I'm here to prove them wrong. Uh, they said the Yogg is bad, and there's lots of hate for it, so we're going to win with Yogg. <laughs> we're going to try. Um, we're making some concessions, right? So we're playing Ratchet Bomb. If you look at the meta, basically, the meta is basically rhinos and creativity and stuff like that. So playing a bunch of, playing like these cards. So the reason that these cards are better than engineered explosives against creativity and rhinos is you can front pay, right? Like with engineered explosives, you have to pay after they cast creativity, right? So they'll cast, or not creativity, they cast rhinos and then you're forced to answer their mana after they've spent the mana. So it forces you to do it after you have to sp spend the two mana rather than before. Like with Ratchet Bomb and Filigree, you just spend the two mana and then you're set. You don't have to worry about doing, you know, active paying the mana to activate in later turns when you need to progress your board. So it is worse... But we're going to try it and see how it goes. Because we're mainly trying to beat Rhinos with these. These are really Rhinos. Alright, so let's give it a shot. Right off the bat, too many Yawgmoths. Too many Yawgmoths. I guess if this... I guess if this was reversed, and this was like... Nah, we can't keep this, right? We can't keep too many. We're basically on a mulligan to whatever. We don't have a second green. Let's mulligan this. Thank you, Mercurio. Thank you, everyone. I'm sorry I've been gone. Uh, but we're in a new spot. We're going to be streaming a lot more. And, uh, alright. We'll keep this. We're putting back... Oh, God. I don't know if... I guess we're keeping this on the draw. We don't have a third land, but... Thank you, Burnt. I appreciate it. Yeah. Okay. So we're playing against Mono Black. This is not the best hand against Mono Black, because we don't really have anything going on. Maybe I shouldn't have kept this hand, but we're on the draw. So, we'll, we'll see what we draw here. Um, wall's a good draw. Uh, yeah. I'm not gonna crack this. I guess I should crack it. Because they're gonna have a lot of Field of Ruin effects. I guess there's no reason to crack it. We'll just keep all the lands in the deck, because we want to draw another land. That was a really good draw. So now we can go black, green, wall of roots birds the new mana dork i have not seen the new mana board i would appreciate everybody for watching fatal push yep that dies unfortunate we knew they'd have a bunch of removal this is kind of be kind of hard here because they have the relic so we're not going to be able to do too much I, I guess we just have to get to this grist grist isn't going to be able to kill them because of the re oh goodness all right, we, hopefully we can get a Grist going next turn. All right, we got the Grist. So, huh. I actually think that we actually Grist over Yawgmoth here. Because I want to be able to play the Yawgmoth and be able to draw a bunch of cards off it. This might be the wrong move. I don't actually know. Like, if I play this Yawgmoth and then they're just like... Verdict or kill the Yogg. We don't really get that much value from it. So I think we'll sit here with this and just try to set up a position where we can like attack them down and draw a bunch of cards. What is this? The Delightful Halfling? Add one minute and goes with the Kendary spell? Wow. That's really interesting. Serencho, thank you for the three months. I appreciate it. All right. So if we crack this. For a Dryad Arbor, they'll just Demolition Field it. So there's no reason to do that. I think that card's pretty crazy too. Okay, so we have a Yogg here. Let's attack for one with our Insect real quick. Attack for one with the Insect. That way we can play our Yogg afterwards and start doing stuff with it. Thank you, Mercurio. I appreciate you guys. Thank you, Mercurio. Too kind. You guys are too kind to me. All right, so now we're going to go one... I'm going to plus this just so we can have as much things in pl as many things in play as possible. Well, that's not good. We hit a basic here. 
when they have one more basic left in the deck and they have two field of the, two of these things so it's really not good for us but thank you mercurio all right now the question is do we want to start sacrificing these things to maybe hit a land to play the birds i don't think we really need to i don't really want to progress my board this turn we'll wait for them to do something okay they're gonna pop a relic that's not very exciting they're probably gonna pop the other relic no they're not gonna i'm kind of surprised they didn't use field and then pop relic very weird chris thank you chris very kind of you now that i'm in okay so now thank you everyone that's very kind of you all you got too kind to me sorry i've been gone i'm back now i'm gonna start back to streaming every day no more slacking okay so now they have the relic so we can't really kill them kill them but we can like hurt them a lot i suppose let's plus our grist um i guess i'm going to play the birds and then we'll cord for a blood artist we don't want to like try and like we could cord for messenger uh i guess messenger just does a bunch of damn no blood artist is probably better let's cord for blood artist <laughs> thank you mark all right let's see what they're doing here i don't even i don't even know what to say to this i don't even know what to say what year is it i guess uh yes all right okay remember i'm just gonna attack them whatever die oh i don't even know i don't even know I, I there's no words all i know is that i shouldn't crack this i can't crack this so as long as i don't crack this verdant i think we'll be okay oh no oh my blood artist is gone what the hell all right so i don't know how to feel about this mono black deck sometimes i play it and it feels like the best thing you could be doing in the format and you're like oh I'll feel the ruin you this da -da 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 this and other times i just play it against it and it just feels very anemic but i mean i guess if they have a supreme verdict here or whatever the hell damnation or whatever whatever board wipe they're electing to play i'd have to imagine it's damnation. it could be something fancy i guess not really toxic deluge isn't in this so i guess we'll just be aware of shadow of doubt okay goodbye blood artist or one out for the little homie oh relic i doubt it's verdict i don't know <laughs> what's up lee it could be all right we could have cracked this and maybe try to get them to use a shadow of doubt but i really don't care doing i'm just going to attack them i'm going to never use yawgmoth and just kill them the slowest most miserable way possible until they verdict me and then i complain about them having verdict I guess I should probably plus. Ooh. Uh, let's play you. All right. If they tap out, I'll do stuff. All right. So now they're tapping out. So now we can try and kill them, right? Uh, let's get a black. Actually, let's do swamp into green green now we can try and kill them because they're tapped out they can't use the relic we did pitch the blood artist but we can draw some cards here now they're officially tapped out and they're not going to get shadow of doubted they can't pop the relic they can't kill yawgmoth so now we can start doing stuff uh oh. pay one life choose a 200 creature okay sec you uh sec you we're looking for a cord uh we'll just let this go get the last vegetable lands and there's no point casting this now we could keep going we could try and draw some more cards but i don't really need to i think we're okay for now so we don't have any more lands if they do demolition field us it's just a stone rain but i don't know i think we'll be okay but i mean i don't know what's this deck? what could this deck have that's going to be scary oh, these relics are annoying i don't think they're scary um 
one, two. What do we got? Maybe I'm not playing this game the most optimal. Rick. No, no. One, two. Knight's Whisper. Okay, deal. You drive a hard bar component. Okay. So, I've been good. I've been good. Uh, okay. So, just going to do nothing. Um, I guess let's go for discard a card. Pitch the wall of roots. Let's proliferate this up. Let's get this creature in the graveyard. Uh, and then we'll go double green, black. Endurance. I'll shuffle these back in. Yeah, I think they should hit Ren and Six out of that deck. I think Ren and Six is what takes creativity over the edge. Okay. We did it. Okay, so what do we want to play against them? We could do Necromentia and, like, take away some of their things. Yeah, Ren and Six is broken in that deck. Edward. Ren and Six is the most broken card in that deck by, like, a lot. All right, um, I don't think we need the Endurance. I think having access to some number of Liberators is good because we can flip and kill those stupid. They could also have, I, I don't know what this deck looks like. Let me take a look at the Zerk VOD. Uh, yes, but I've been very lazy. I think we want some number of Thought Seizes over Evolutions. It's gonna be hard to use an Evolution uh, if they're gonna have, if they're gonna be doing the relic stuff if they're going to be just focusing on relics so maybe we board something like this scavenger use can be a late game threat against a deck like this but i don't know if it's necessarily worth it i would love to see thank you everyone for the hype train i appreciate it i would love to see ren and six banned i think ren and six fixes so essentially creativity is just a control deck it's a control deck with a, a combo win con how do we feel about this hand not good we have a young wolf and like that's it that's this is not gonna be good enough okay this hand is moderately better we'll put back a dork scavenger ooze doesn't really look that hot in this opener but we could be a little patient here uh i guess do we want to try for a turn two grist the odds of turn two grist working aren't really that high i am gonna shock myself here now the question is, do we want to go for the turn one dork? I think it's probably better to thought seize and then turn two these two, then turn one this. Because like the odds are this is just going to get fatal pushed. We'll take Karn probably. Or maybe they have something ridiculous. All right, what do we got? They got fatal push, march, knight's whisper, shieldred. Mm, don't really want to deal with the shieldred. We could take the Knight's Whisper. We could take the Fatal Push. Let's just take the Shieldred so we don't sort of get wrecked by that. Maybe I'm supposed to take March there. I don't know. So their next turn is going to be Field, Knight's Whisper. Maybe they hold up. Cavage Goose does look pretty terrible here. All right. Luckily, we get to go play the Bastage. You get to play Wall of Roots into High Arc. And then... We're just going to be Gristing. What do you think about adding Factor Friction to Yogg? That's what Yogg needs, blue. Yogg needs the mana. Blue will definitely help with the mana. Alright, so there's the Swamp that we know about. There's the Fatal Push on the guy. So they have a March in hand. And a bunch of Unknowns. Uh, well, I guess we're just gonna play the Grist. We'll just play the Grist, plus the Grist, and that will be that. Hopefully Grist will do some work here. I don't know, like, if we would have left them with the Shieldred, they could have gone March the Grist, and then played a Shieldred the following turn, and we would have been not in a really great spot. Well, the thing with March is it's really good with... It's a Mana Sink when you have Coffers, right? So the deck that they're trying to play, the deck that they're playing right now, um, uses is using Cabal Coffers. So it's uh, this deck basically. So essentially, it's four Urborg, four Cabal Coffers. So it turns into this giant mana sink. Creativity was a problem for Ogo got banned. True. All right. 
So it's just, oh, they just did nothing on turn? Did they skip their turn? I wonder if they skipped their turn. Uh, okay, let's plus here. Uh, one, two, three. Sorry, my cat just effed my mouse. Sorry to hear that. Cats have been messing with mouse. Oh, let's not troll. Let's not troll. I saw Tom and Jerry once. You can't keep those two together. They didn't want to play. All right. Well, I mean, so what we're going to do is we're going to pass the turn. So we had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We could have attacked for one with this insect, and then we would have waited till the end of their turn when they used Field of Ruin on whatever. And then we would have courted with one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And we would have got a Yogg and done Hood Rat Yogg stuff. But they're super far behind. So that was pretty sweet. Okay, so now we got a lot of time to kill. Let's not troll. What's up, PT? I would never troll anyone. Trolling is bad. They felt bad. Their cat. The dirtiest deck in modern. Oh. I think we can do better. Oh my god, I have the wrong deck. I, uh, deck. Sorry about that. Okay, let's keep this, even though it's, this can kind of sucks too. We'll put back an evolution. All right. Uh, this hand kind of not great either. We can use the cords to get, let's see what our opponent's doing. A verdant might be the mirror. All right. Hopefully it's the mirror. We have a relatively good hand for the mirror because we have turn two. Oh shit, it's scam. All right, so we're playing against scam. They're gonna scam us. Ragavan dash, gross. Okay, no blocks. All right, they got a treasure. So, I'm going to tap this birds to play the birds. So that way if they like bolt this or whatever, then I'm just going to pass. I'm going to cord for Dryad Arbor at the end of their turn. If they have Fury, we lose. It's kind of the way it is. Just the way it is. Um, hard casting a grief would suck as well. We have a lot of things that would suck here. I don't think it's skill based. I think it's whoever is... Whoever has the better start, whoever gets turn one. Like, when you just go, like, dork, dork, you go, like, turn one, dork, turn two, yog, right? All right. Um, I want to cord here, but they're probably just going to use the thing anyway. But I think I have to just start using my spells. I mean, we're obviously going to walk into the cord thing, but what are we supposed to do? Yeah. Whoever gets Yogg first, whoever does whatever first. I mean, we've lost, by the way. We lost. Well, Hapatra wouldn't have helped here either. I mean, I could have played Hapatra, but it wouldn't have helped. All right. That was miserable. All right, so how do we beat that deck? We do this, we do these, and we cut out these, this, 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 these, this. Shave birds. All right, so let's try like this. We have endurances. We just basically have to thought seize furies. If we thought seize a fury, we win. If we get fury scammed, we're gonna lose. That's just that. It's just the way it is. We're shaving young wolves. They're not very impactful. We're shaving evolutions because they're not great in the face of void walkers. Core's not really going to work that well if they're going to just kill all our creatures. Messenger sucks against um, Blood Moon and stuff like that. Who the hell is texting me? And why didn't I mute my phone? Like, oh no, TikTok. Oh, shit, 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 shit. Um, it's an answer, so it's a preemptive answer against creativity and rhinos. So if you, if you think about it, right, like, it's, you have to, if you have a, um, 
it's front loaded versus back loaded. Like, you can play it on turn two, and then you've invested the two mana that you need to invest on turn two, and you don't have to pay it later after they've cast a creativity or cast a rhino. So it sort of frees up your mana later in the game, if that makes sense. Whereas, like, let's say you're playing against rhinos, and they cast a rhino on turn three, then you're forced to answer them after they've already spent the mana. You're forced to then spend the two mana where you'd like to be able to free up your mana to do other things. How's it better than Ratchet Bomb or Crime Punishment? You can kill someone with Yogg, I guess. It's it's kind of rough, but you could, in theory, kill someone with Yogg. All right, we're going to go turn one. We're keeping this hand. The sand kind of sucks, but it's kind of okay. Uh, you can actually just kill someone with Yogg with it. You could proliferate a bunch and kill someone. Like, it just does 10 damage, right? In a weird situation, it deals 10 damage. Whereas, like, or like let's say you have a Yogg Moth. You could, in theory, proliferate this and use it to kill someone. It's not a common scenario, but you could do it. All right. Um, let's toss these. Grief and a fatal push. Well, I'll take that. All right. So their hand's not very good. But our hand's not that great either. Uh, if you play the Dryad Arbor, it's just going to get pushed. I mean, this Wall of Roots is going to get pushed. But, you know, we got to get the pushes out of their hand. And then next turn, we can play the Dryad Arbor and Cord for one. Like a Young Wolf. They're not fatal pushing the wall. That's interesting. All right. Uh, I think we're gonna... The question is, do we want to play around Blood Moon here? Or do we want to just save life and fetch? Just not fetch. Okay, so now let's go crack this. We'll get a forest. Play this. And now we have one, two, three, four, five, six. We might as well get a Grist here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, let's get a Grist. Doink, doink. Doink, doink, doink. Perspiring Mike, thank you for the 18 months. That's very kind of you, thank you. Okay, so let's get Grist here. Grist plus. I'm kind of surprised that they didn't Fatal Push the Wall Roots here. Okay, they're not really thinking about Blood Moon either. Makes me think that they might not have Blood Moon in the deck. Or... No, it, it's probably... They're never going to fix that. All right, here's a Grief. What are they going to take? It doesn't matter. We've won this game. So their hand is a Swamp and a Fatal Push. And now we just go... Plus you, plus you. One... You, evolution you get Yogmoth. Uh shoots this, sack this, play a land. Uh, might as well just play this. Uh we'll go to combat, begin combat, attack. Then we'll shoot this, sack this. Wanna get the exalted trigger. Uh, now we will get a forest. I guess we'll float green green here. Pay one life, choose a Tontar creature. Okay, sack you. They still have a fatal push. Uh, let's see if we could draw. Okay, this is pretty good for next turn. I guess we have one more draw here, so we might as well... Draw this. And we missed on the draw. Maybe we should have done this pre-combat, but I think we're okay. Alright, so they have Swamp Fatal Push in hand. Four creatures in the graveyard. If they cast a Fury, that would be kind of sucky. Uh, I'm going to shoot this on this to draw some more cards. Just 
Swap cards, 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 cards. Okay. Plus we have five creatures in the graveyard. Um, we're gonna play you. Gonna play you. Gonna plus here. We'll play an endurance and then we haven't dead a bunch of different ways here, right? We have the endurance. This is four, they're gonna go to 10. We have Grist Alt, plus we have Yawgmoth, plus we have Endurance. Dragon Lord, thank you. Oh, they're drawing? Oh, that's not great. Okay, so they're dead. Uh, one, two, double green, cast Endurance. Okay, cool. Uh, that was an interesting game. They didn't have Fury. When Scam doesn't have Fury, it's like a C tier deck. Um... I'm going to bring in the Young Wolf on the draw just so we don't get wrecked by a Ragavan. I don't know. They didn't seem to have Ragavan, so maybe they're not. Maybe they'll bring Ragavans back on the play. So we'll try it. That might be a mistake. Thank you, Dragon Lord Freya. Appreciate it. All right. Um, this hand's all right. It's not the greatest hand, but uh, the question is, what are we playing on turn one here? Are we, we're definitely gonna get a forest here. Uh, which one of these two? I think I'm gonna play, obviously this has higher upside. I think I'm gonna play the young wolf. This might be a mistake. Yeah, it's definitely a mistake to play the young wolf. I don't know. Uh, let's attack. I don't really want to play this yet. I think I want to play the Blood Artist. I want to spend two mana. I don't really want to spend one mana this turn. Yeah, there's the Fatal Push. Get doinked. Get doinked. What's up, Otaji? How are you? All right. So now we basically lose if they have the scam. Okay, they don't have it. Nice. Hmm. I'd like to play the High Arc. Kind of wasteful, but we are gonna play it. We should play it pre-combat, get in there for two. Holgan's command, kill the high arc, make me discard. I will discard a court of calling. Why not getting uh, I guess I'll pitch the evolution. I shouldn't have pitched the evolution. I should have discarded Yogg. I should have kept evolution here. Alright, here's the grief. They'll take the Yogg. Um, they took ooze. All right. Yeah, I see. All right, so let's crack this. Let's play the young wolf. Let's not attack because this gives us cord for one here. We can cord for one and we can get a yog next turn if we're cording for something. God damn it. Um, yeah, we'll let this go. Uh, we were doing better until this thought sees came. We we're doing significantly better until this thought sees happen. I guess we can double block. I guess we could double block this grief. We might as well, right? Oh, they're not attacking. Uh, we should not use this. It's just a cord for one. We could do better than a cord for one. We can cord for a grist, right? We can grist kill this attack, or we can just play this and wait. Ah. Uh, if we card for a Grist here and kill the Grief, we're pretty vulnerable to a hard cast Fury next turn. We're pretty vulnerable to a hard cast Fury no matter what we do, I suppose. I think we just pass the turn. I think we just pass the turn. We just need to draw a land, and then we're good to cord for a Yogg and just win the game. Yeah, we are also vulnerable to an Undying Effect. I kind of want to cord for a... I don't know. This is an interesting spot. Like, if they hard cast a Fury here, it's just they just roast the wolves, and that's fine, right? Fury comes down. If you strike me down, Fury, I will just become more powerful than you can possibly imagine. Uh, is there any reason to cord for anything here? No, I don't think so, right? Yeah, this happens. Yep. Yep. Okay. Now the question is, should we cord here for 
something? And I think the answer is no. Now the question is, do we cord for a grist here? Or is it better to wait and see if we draw a land? Hmm. All right, let's just draw. Let's take a draw step. Hopefully we draw land. Okay, that's interesting. This punishes us for not courting at the end of turn. This punishes us hard for not courting at the end of turn. All right, let's thought seize them. What do we lose to? We lose to an undying thing. Let's thought seize. I don't want to get got by an... Oh, good God. Oh, good God. I'm glad we thought seized. Holy shit. Holy shit. I'm glad we thought seized. Glad we got rid of that. So the question is now is... Are we blocking anything? Uh, we take 11, go to 5. Or... Can cord here for a Strangaroo Geist, block, and swing back at them for seven, put them to two. That's not good. Uh, we could double block the Grief. Yeah, I'm just going to take nine. Just going to take the nine. All right, let's draw land. That's the worst land to draw. Shit. Go to five. Yeah, all right. And now we're just going to pass. We're dead to a bolt this way, but we should be okay. Now we'll go to combat, block, block the Fury, cord for a Yogg, shoot this here, go to three, then shoot the Grief. Oh, that's that makes it easy. We are dead to a bolt here. Okay, so let's go block the Fury, go to combat, block the Fury... Okay, now we cord. One, two, three, five, six, seven. Cord for the yog. Then we go shoot this. Sack this. And then we go shoot this, sack this. And then we go shoot this, sack this. We died to a bolt here. That sucks. That's this is not good. We're still in the game. We're still in the game here. But it's obviously not good. They're gonna take the grist. We are not in a very good spot. Them having that feign death. We just play the grist, kill this. We're not in a good spot here. That was a really good draw. That was a really good draw. Okay. Um, so now we pass. And we play Endurance. And we block the Fury. Play the Endurance block here. Okay. So they're going to attack with both. How do we do this? We go... One, two... Three. Play the Endurance. Put these cards back in our deck. Back in the deck. We want the Blood Artist back in the deck. Now, we can go sack here. We could sack here, then double block here, then block here. I think we... Or we could just go block, block, shoot this. Let's just go to blocks now. Let's go block 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 okay and then we go shoot this young wolf on the fury so these trade go to one Coligan's command when i'm at all right well all right that sucks the fury with the endurance and double block the grief uh because this it we're just dead i mean they drew a bolt we're at two Super close game. Colgan's command was pretty good there. Yeah, we were dead to this Colgan's command no matter what. Kind of crazy they bring... I guess they just want to recast the Fury over and over again. We were dead to the Colgan's command. We were dead to them drawing this thing. We are dead to, you know, just too many Furies. Too many Furies. It was a close match, though. We were pretty close to winning. I guess that... If I would have courted 
for the grist at the end of turn and then gone to my turn plus thought sees them i would have won the game probably because i would have been at a lot higher life and i would have taken the second fury and i would have been able to kill their fury but then i guess the grief would have hit me that was close it was super close we got absolutely demolished in game one but that was really close Hey, hey, good luck, have fun. Okay, uh, we can keep this hand. All right. So we don't really know what they're up to. Okay, sorry about that. Okay, um, Flooded Strand. Ragaman, shit. Hmm. This is really not good. We gotta make it one turn. So looks like it's probably breach. Could be like burn, something like that. Huh. Bobble. All right. Um. The question is, wall of roots or stranger root geist? I think I want to play geist here. Wall of Roots, like, I'll be forced to block with it, and if they bolt it, I'll be pretty sad. So we'll just leave this here. If they have a pending, it would kind of suck. But hopefully they're playing, like, red removal. Saga. All right. It's definitely Breach. It's a Fairy Bounce. All right. Unfortunate. But we can go Wall of Roots, kill the Teferi, which is kind of cool. All right, um, one, two, wall of roots, one, two, strangle roots. Here we can kill the Teferi, and we should be pretty good here. All right, here's Saga, Ruby, annoying, very annoying. All right, so how do we deal with this shit? How do we deal with this shit? Uh, we can get a Yogg here. We can get two, you can go, we can evolution for a Yogg, but then they can just get something to just blank our Yogg. If we get a Yogg, they can just go, they can get the bounce Yogg thing. So I don't really want to get a Yogg this turn. I guess this is another setup turn. Where we go, Wall of Roots. I wonder what they have. I mean, they're just being care. I, we could hold on to this Paseju, or we could just Evolution. I think we should probably Evolution. Use one of these Evolutions. Skid, Yogmoth. And we'll pass the turn here. They're just hard carried by this Ragavan. So it's so frustrating to lose to a Ragavan when you're playing a deck like Yogmoth, but like this thing's a four four, and it, should, it like if this Ragavan didn't connect, it'd be a two two, and we could like kill it, mess with it. But they're probably gonna get the bounce thing here, and then we're probably gonna be real in trouble. We'll see though. We'll see what they get. Yeah, there's a spell bomb. One two three. Jeez, the bounce and the Yog. I guess I need to kill this Ragavan. Dog gets bounced. We'll take the damage from this. This is very frustrating to die to these stupid things. They have a bounce here. All right, so let's just spew out a bunch of things. We have chump blockers for their guys. Young Wolf, and then we'll play the Yogg the following turn. Now we can chump these two things. Now we can chump these two things, then play Yogg next turn. Make another construct. Okay. Into seven sevens. They have a trample hammer, a drum. Okay, they don't have trample hammer. Main, thankfully. Breach. 
What do we really have off this? Eats. Bobble, bobble. That's not that impressive. We're not dead, but they can't bounce our shit. I guess we just double block. Bounce, block, block. All this advantage because of Ragavan. All this advantage because of one little monkey fucker. Can Unholy Heat one of them now? I don't think we're going to win this one. Spell Bomb's too much. We could play the Yogg, but we're not going to be able to like untap with it. Oh boy. Grape Shot. Oh, we're dead. Can they Grape Shot again? They're just going to wipe our board. Alright. I'm very confused. Why am I why am I alive when I'm at eight? They could have bolted me, grape shotted me, bolted me. Am I missing something, huh? This did eight damage to my creatures. Okay. Respect. Respect. Uh I survive. We'll pack it in. We'll pack it in. They could have just killed me if they just bolted me and then grape shotted me. It would have just killed me. All right. Uh, we want Force of Vigors. We want Endurances. We want Scavengers, Liberator. We want this. We don't really want this. 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 We can shave some of these. Shave some of these. Uh, they have a lot of single target removal. So let's play something like this. I guess we want this over what this we'll play like this yeah well i mean they send a message the message was they want ran away with the game because of ragavan and they wanted me to know that they ran away with the game all right we'll keep this hand this hand's really sketchy incredibly sketchy turn one birds which is not gonna live we do have a force of air i don't think we can keep Okay, we'll keep this. Put back you. Put back you. Alright, this hand is terrible too, but if we kept that other hand, like playing a Dryad Arbor, maybe we should have kept the... We couldn't have kept the first one. The first one didn't do anything. Got Tron. It does have Tron. Spellbomb. Does have the perfect mana hand. Okay. Wonder what they're gonna name. I wonder what they're gonna name. Have they known to name that? OP. Okay, well, I'm playing this High Arc first. I'm playing the Yogg first. So they don't like bounce this mid combat and then I lose the four mana. Like pre combat, if they were to bounce this, I would lose the access to the four mana. I would like to attack you. Another question is, were they bouncing? Okay. What card? What card, Mercurio? You want to post it? Oh, let's see. Let's see. Zulok? What the hell? Oh, the World Gorger guy? Toastman is in Cascade. That card is pretty sweet. Ledger Shredder. Can I draw something that kills this Pithing Needle, please? Okay, all right, or not. Uh, I guess I'd swing with Yawgmoth. Cascade, Cascade, is it double Cascade? Oh my god, this card is gonna be cracked in EDH. I know a particular person that would very much enjoy that card in EDH. All right, so let's play the birds. Am I holding this land or am I sandbagging? I think this card is basically going to be your new commander, right? I know someone who... Uh, what do you think, Mario? Is this for you? Is this your new... Your new... Husbando? That's how you say it, right? Is this your new Husbando in EDH? In every deck you play is going to play this? Just get rid of that shitty deck you already have. And just straight up replace it. <laughs> is waifu? This is a waifu? Oh, forgive me. This isn't a Husbando? It's hard to keep up. It's hard to keep up. Bo Eldrazi. Oh, yeah, I mean, Drew. All right, let's see what we got here. 
They grew their thing. Is it Dryad Arbor time? It is Dryad Arbor time. Dryad Arbor beat down. Okay, can I draw an answer to the Pithing Needle? That does answer the Pithing Needle. Uh, one, a two. Evolution, the Strangaroo Geist. I guess they're probably gonna bounce the Yawgmoth in response. Cause that's what I do. Bounce the Yawgmoth. Bounce the Yawgmoth. Uh huh. Yes, yes. Bounce the Yawgmoth. So, what are we gonna get here? We could just get an Endurance. Alright, let's think. Let us think. We could get a Messenger here. We could get Grist and kill this. And then attack. They're, they're going to three. They would have to untap and kill us. Which doesn't seem very likely. Or we can get Liberator and eat this. Or we can get a Scavenging Ooze. Alright, so we can get a Liberator here. But that doesn't that doesn't really seem to do much, Liberator. What do you guys think? I think I kind of like Grist. Grist, kill this, attack for four. They go to three. All right, let's get a Grist. Let's just kill this Ledger Shredder. Kill that. Yeah, let's attack him for, to put him to three. We can save this back so this could block a Ragavan. Yep. They equip the Shadow Sphere to it. All right. Still has to chump. Uh, so we go plus play you one, two, three, play you. They go through the turn, they have to chump still. We have uh, five power in play. I guess we're pretty far off from dying here. One, two, grinding station. Okay. Guess I shouldn't have six in case they grinding station the pithy needle. I guess they could. Guess their last card's a breach. All right, we got there. Little sketchy. Little sketchy. Uh, hmm. okay. Uh, Pithing is so annoying. Living on the edge. Yeah, we were we were pretty close to dead. But to be fair, uh, what do you want to do here? Any changes? I didn't see any Ragavans. Didn't see any Ragavans. All right, let's just resubmit. Let's just resubmit. I think we got them. I think we're in a good spot here. All right, we've got. A Force of Vigor, a Grist, an Ooze. We can keep this hand. It's not the greatest hand. It stops the turn one Ragavan. Living on the edge is called creating content. Yeah, I know, right? Ragavan. Mm -hmm. Well, if that doesn't say I have an unholy heat, I don't know what I don't know what does. Uh, yes, Saga's fine. Okay. Um, actually, kind of a tough spot. All right, well, let's do the easy part. Let's attack for one here. Now, what's the better, what's the best play here? Do we just besage you the Saga? Do we play a Scavenging Goose? I feel like a Scavenging Goose would just die. I feel like Scavenging Goose is just going to die. You might as well just besage you the saga. Yeah, I like besaging the saga. But we'll do it during their upkeep. Let's do it during their upkeep. Yeah. It's a besage you shock. <laughs> Bounce the young wolf, huh? Um, yeah, it's a fairy lane. I guess I'll just do this. It 
Teferi is pretty annoying. All right, unholy heat bug. Hopefully, we probably can't let them untap with the with the Emery. We probably have to play this, play this, kill this, attack this, play this, kill the Emery. We could just be dead. Oh, we're not dead. They have that shit. That's pretty good for us. Pithy Needle, Grist. Yogg Moth. Uh, huh. Okay, so we can go Force of Vigor these two. We can hard cast a Force of Vigor, kill these two, kill this. We can attack, swing both of these at Teferi. If we swing both of these at Teferi, I don't even think we need to. All right, let's... I think we attack both at Teferi, and we'll offer the trade. All right, let's let's swing both of these at Teferi, and then just play the ooze. I like that. All right, let's go Teferi, Teferi. Okay, and then I'm just gonna play the ooze. All right. That's so annoying. Uh, I guess we can get rid of Bobble. And we can get rid of Sorcery. Can't get rid of everything. We can eat a creature, we can eat a Sorcery, or we can eat an enchantment. Yeah, all that sunlight. Yeah. I'll cover that eventually. Uh, I guess we'll just eat a creature. I guess we'll eat Emery. Gain a life. Okay. Uh, I guess we're gonna attack Teferi. We cast a Yogg. Black, black. No, it's okay. No, I mean... Magic, there's not a lot to magic chat. Ugh. There's, you know, we're here to talk. Iteration. I would like very much to get this Teferi gone so I can have some protection from a thingy. Breach. Breach got exiled, which means they have another Breach in hand. Oh, that's a good draw. Let's hit the Teferi for one. And I want to just Endurance them. All right. I really want to get this Teferi gone so I can have some protection from their nonsense. I do like their basics, though. I do, I do, I do like their basics. Okay, so they don't have a creature. I want this Teferi dead. This Teferi has been so annoying. Well, they for sure have a Breach in their hand. Last turn they exiled a Breach, which means they would have put it in their hand... There's a shield. Oh, they have Teferi effect. Grinding station. Ah, we could just be dead. So, step number one, we kill the Teferi, right? We swing both of these at Teferi. Begin combat, begin combat. Teferi, Teferi. Get the Teferi dead. Now we can play Yogmoth, right? Now we can play the Yog. And now we have Force of Vigor for the thingy. Urza Saga. Okay. Alright. So we're definitely casting the Force of Vigor. Uh, what are we killing? We're killing the Pithing Needle and the Grinding Station? Or are we just letting them go? Force of Vigor can hit the Grinding Station and the Pithing Needle. We could just let it go. They would need Breach plus a zero. They don't have a zero. We can just let this go. Yeah, I'm gonna let this go. Sure. 
Uh huh. Now we're in trouble. All right, so. So I think now we have to go Wall of Roots. Shit. We can't guarantee to, I guess we can. I guess we can swing both of these at the Teferi. They'll block here, Teferi dies. We can play Yawgmoth, and then we'll have access to Force of Vigor at the end of their turn. I guess it's fine. All right, let's kill the Teferi. You need a combat. Teferi, Teferi. Yeah. Maybe I should have played the Stranger guys to kill the Teferi in case they have a bolt, but I think their last card is Breach. I'm going to swing both of these at Teferi. All right, Teferi, Teferi. Okay. Now we're going to go Yogg. Then we're going to pass the turn. Yeah. Yes. Uh huh. We have to kill this at the end of the turn so they can't just breach it back. What a pain in the ass. Okay. All right. Um, we're gonna kill the Saga and the Needle. Yeah, I think they're dead too. Saga, Needle, the Pitch, the Wall of Roots. Okay. Okay. All right. Um, draw a card. Oh, now we're going to go one, two, Strangaroot, Geist. Do we have Messenger? Messenger just kills them. One, two, three, four, five, six. We can just cord for Messenger and kill them. Uh, one. Oh, he's healed. All right. GG's. Okay. Um, that's kind of close. We could have been in a little bit of trouble to an unholy heat here, but I guess they just didn't have the breach. Kind of weird. Weird game. Weird game. All right. Uh, I can't keep. We can keep these. We'll put back swamp. What do we got? Vertixy. Steam vents plus Gigantha. Oh no. Oh no. Alright, so this is either going to be Prowess or Breach or something that's going to try and kill us very, very fast. Something that's going to try and kill us incredibly fast. Uh, let's just get a forest and let's play birdies. Maybe we should have played high arc, but I think, I think this is going to die. I think this is going to get lava darted and I'm going to be very sad. Soul scar. Okay. Maybe I won't be so sad. Um, what's the best play here? The best play is probably Wall of Roots. Take a counter off the Wall of Roots. Play the High Arc. Play Overgrown Tomb Tapped. This keeps our life total nice and high. If we play the Grist, they'll probably just be able to get Delirium and kill the Grist. Realistically. Oh, we're going to murder them. Maybe not. Is that a dart? What is that? It's a pending? Sure. Oh, there's a lava dart here. Am I blocking? Am I blocking? No, I'm not blocking. They can sack and dart the birds, which is what they should do. No, they're not going to. Oh, I'm going to get them. Interesting. Interesting. They should dart these birds. They should have darted this. I don't know why they're not. This is a mistake. 
very much a mistake not to dart the birds. All right, let's go black, green, black, black, yog. Okay, now we play this. Now we play birds. And now we pass the turn. I suppose we're passing the turn. Yeah, we'll just pass the turn here. What is this? Expressive iteration? Get a free block on one of the Soul Scar mages with Yogmoth. So we'll be okay here. We just need to put minus one counters on the Soul Scars and we'll be alright. We should be okay. We just have to survive one turn. We do have to remember that they do have a Lava Dart. Okay, let's see what this. All right, that's unfortunate because now they can dart the Yogmoth. Uh, I guess I need to start shrinking these things. We need to at least look for another Yogmoth. We got a one-one undying here. Yeah, this sucks. We're, pr we're pretty dead here. Because now they can sack the Lava Dart. Lava Dart that. So we're taking a million damage. We have to chump one of these. Go to six. Play you. Play you. Sack this. Kill this. Yeah, we lost this game. This can get a Dryad Arbor to block. We do attack. We'll try and kill one. We're just dead to Bolt. All right. It's hard to beat this deck on the draw. We could have maybe tried to kill those things pre-combat, but... All right, so we want Endurances. We want these things. And we don't really want Birds of Paradise. Messenger is going to be pretty hard to leverage too. And I think we want Shave a Court of Calling and we'll play like this. That's a lot better. Nice and simple. Like to play first? Yes. No, I use, I use Card Hoarder. I think they're a little bit better. They're more flexible. But this is pretty good. I like Card Hoarder. They're pretty simple. They're fast. You can go up and down with your price. Or like, you're not stuck. Like with Card Hoarder, you're stuck at like a certain thing. Whereas with Card Hoarder, you can go up and down, which makes it, I think, a little bit better. Get you tapped. So I'm a Card Hoarder guy. No, I, I have not. I have not. I'm losing to it right now, though. Does that count? I'm losing to it. I haven't played it since. I... I have been a big I have I have not played it since. I'm playing against it. I'm getting killed with it. But I was I, I was never a fan of the Karu thing. Look at how much stronger this Sprite Dragon's gonna be. It's just kinda gonna wreck me. Alright, so now the question we have is Am I going to get a Yogmoth here and just try and kill the Sprite Dragon? Or should I set up for next turn? I think we're just going to set up, right? I think we just set up for next turn. Get a forest. One, two. Play a wall of roots. Stranger root geist. Attack. All right. So. Just tap out. Just tap out. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Ending on that. Okay. That's not too bad. I'm going to block here. If they have mutagenic, they have mutagenic. All right. It is time for Yogg. One, two, three. I want to save this so I can proliferate on their turn. Uh, let's get Yogg. Let's play the lands. Uh, I guess I'm going to attack here. I'm going to attack and 
get an attack in, and then let's go sack here, sack this, sack this, sack this. Um, do I am I okay with this thing? I guess I only have three cards in their hand. We probably shouldn't die. I mean, we could die to this. This card's so much better than Keru Spell Dance or whatever. I don't know. This card's a very scary card. Swift Spear. Okay. We have two cards in hand. What do we got? We got a Prismatic Ending they're doing here. Alright, let's uh, shrink the... I guess we'll shrink the dragon. Okay. If one card in hands, I think we got him here. Go one, two, wall of roots. One, use the wall of roots, high arc. One, two, three. Eldritch Evolution, Sack the High Arc. Let's get Blood Artist here. Uh, go to combat. Okay. I want to wait till their turn so we can use this to proliferate. So we can go shoot this, shoot this, proliferate, and get a bunch of triggers. But we're going to wait for them to do something here. Okay. Crack to fetch, sure. Underworld Breach. All right, so let's go minus one here. Shoot the Sprite Dragon, sack this. Ping. Okay, now we shoot this and we sh kill the Sprite Dragon. Sprite Dragon. Bang. Now I guess we shoot the Soul Scar. Bang. Get a counter. And now we blow to black, uh, proliferate, discard. Kill you. Now this resolves. Now breach resolves when I cast the endurance because I didn't see that I drew it because it was blocked. I'm gonna just besage you the underworld breach. We're trying stuff, Zerk. We're trying your stuff. Yeah, let's move this up here. I really just didn't see the endurance. We're trying. Look at. Look at how much worse this is than a court of call. Oh, uh, shit. Come to Papa. Come to Papa. Oh, I have a response. Surveil, you say? What would you like to surveil? think okay now I'll take two Giganta you say our opponent is dead uh, what's in the sideboard did I sideboard out the draws messenger god damn it okay um Silex winning the game <laughs> no I do think it's better I mean you're front-loading paying the two. You're paying the two in the beginning, and then you're able to not worry about having to pay the two mana after your opponent does whatever they do. So... Have I 10 anyone? That's the goal. I almost thought about doing it. I almost was like, all right, I'm going to proliferate this and just proliferate and proliferate and proliferate 
and win with 10, but that was a little too troll. A little too troll. All right, we just need to play defense. Same thing. Just got to defend. Silax MVP. Zerk, how was the US of A? How was Minnesota? Are you back home? You could kill someone potentially. Potentially, you could proliferate with Yogg and then 10 someone, potentially. In the scrappiest of scrappy games, right? You could just like charge it up, charge it up, charge it up, charge it up. <laughs> How can I move there for like forever? Listen. <laughs> uh, Minnesota has this thing called a winter. Um, I don't know. Listen, they need... Okay, so what do we got here? Swift Spear. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. It's it's such a different, like, feeling. I always would get so depressed the first day of, like, snow. The first day it gets, like, cold cold, I'm like, oh my god, I'm doomed. Alright, well... All my hopes and dreams rest with you, Filigree. I love in Canada, it makes you happy. It's crazy. No, not the Sprite Dragon. We're dead. We're so dead. The filigree Silex is not going to cut it. Don't cast any spells. Don't do anything. Sp Why is Sprite Dragon so good? Don't kill my shit. Don't cast that Lava Dart. Don't do it. No. Stop it. Wait, have to last till May, I know, right? Uh, I'm taking a million damage and probably dead. I hit another lava dart. Oh, it's so broken. Don't lava dart me again. No, stop it. Am I dead? I don't want to be dead, but I'm probably dead. <sighs> three. Awesome. This is a three, three. This dragon's fucking crazy. This dragon is just the best thing you could be doing in this stupid deck. There are some people who play Kiru, Spell, whatever. And uh, it's just not this card. It's not that card. Alright, well, we're dead on turn. We're untapping at 3 life against the Bolt deck. So, uh... Yeah, that 2-2 two -two is so bad. I agree. Alright, not the best start. Not the best Let's jam our league, though. We'll beat up on people in the league. And we died to Fury, and we died to Lava Dart. You know? I'm <laughs> sorry.